Hey guys, on this episode of Unusual Foods, we'll be taking a look at the crookneck squash. So this squash gets its name obviously from its, well, crookneck. Comes from uh, the Americas near the head of the Missouri River. It was first found and documented in 1818, um, being used by the Akir Arikara tribe. So, you know, it's not like one of the oldest vegetables out there, but uh, when you actually grow these, you should be picking them before they get to this size. You want them actually at this size where they're a lot smaller. You can see the skin on this one's already starting to, you know, soften up inside the house. And the whole thing, I can squeeze it. It's, it's got a bit of give to it. Where this one, if you leave it this long, they get really tough. Like, this is pretty rock hard. I mean, so when I cut this open, I'll have to cook it for a long time to get it to um, get nice and soft, but we'll find out. But I have another one here. This one's already cooked, as you can see, nice and soft. And the inside has got some seeds and um, yeah, just nice and buttery soft. So first off, I will try the soft one. This one's cooked and I'll take the seeds off and we'll eat that afterwards. Hmm, okay. Creamy, smooth. Neutral, it's not like a, this isn't, you know, something exciting, this isn't a rambutan, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you're gonna make a nice hummus, this is a good base, it's like a nice creaminess, that's, you know, not coming from, say, an avocado, but uh, yeah, good creamy squash. We make a nice hummus out of this, some chickpeas and then some of this food processor, some garlic, some paprika, maybe some soy sauce, some miso paste, a little bit of sriracha, zip that up, uh, one thing I don't do is I don't leave the seeds in because then you end up with this chunky, chopped up, quartered seeds and then you get this weird spiky texture on the inside. So something to think about. Even on the small one, the peel has got like a firm bite to get through. So you might not like that. You could always just peel this out. You scoop out, scoop out the insides. It doesn't seem like it would come out really easily though. It's kind of attached. I mean, if you had a spoon, you scraped it, you'd be able to get it out. The seeds, we'll try these. Sometimes nice to roast, sometimes bitter. So yeah, I mean, this is a good squash to, I'd say, make hummuses with. Um, you're not getting a lot of flavor if you chop it up and just let it bake in the oven like you would with kombucha squash. That's a lot better squash for that. But yeah, I definitely recommend this for eating a nice um, hummus. For, the, for eating this raw, I mean, you can see this smaller one is soft. So I'll cut off a piece here and eat it raw. I don't eat squash raw normally, but I mean, you know, might as well try it out since we're here. You can definitely eat it raw. Not great. So, hmm. It's like if you take away all the earthiness that comes from eating the, all the earthiness that's from the baked version of the squash and you make it more of a light, fresh, crispy squash. Definitely go with the cooked version, make a hummus out of it. And um, yeah, that's that's it for this episode. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Unusual Foods and maybe inspire you to try something new. And until next one, guys, like the video, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and have a great day.